Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have nine book talk books for you, and we are gonna discuss if they are worth the hype or not. So the first book is Twisted Hate. Uh, this is the third book in the series in the Twisted series by Anna Huang. This is Enemies to Lover, and it is beautifully done. Definitely worth the hype. The smut is also very good, and the storyline is also very intriguing. So you will want to stay for this one. And even though this is a big book, you do not get bored in this one. The previous two one, I was having trouble finishing, but that was not the case with this one. So this is very good, and also. We also see some of Alex Volkov and Eva Chan in this one, and it's good. The second one is A Quarter, the first book from A Quarter, A Coat of Thorn and Roses by Sarah J. Maas. And as a single book, this one is not so much worth the hype because it was really, really difficult to get into. It got boring, and I didn't understand why it was dragging for. Almost 300 plus pages with no plot, but the entire plot was just that much. So I would say this that as a book, this was not worth the hype, but as a series, definitely is. The next one is Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. Now this book blew, like brought the storm in every reader's life when it was released. And this is totally worth the hype. I cannot see why because there is so much tension between the main characters. There is interesting battles, interesting uh, games, and you know a lot of physical activities going on. It's a war college, so that in itself is very interesting. And yeah, the entire character portrait of them is cool too. So. This one, as a book, was great and definitely worth the hype. Haunting Adeline, yeah, we are getting feisty over here. So this one, well, yeah, it's it's worth the hype. Let's get this straight because um, there are scenes and graphic depiction of things that. That, well, that is gonna blow your mind to say the least. But obviously, a lot of readers would be having trouble getting their head wrapped around dark romance as a genre and the unethical means, the morally grey portrait of the main character. That was troublesome for me too. But yeah, definitely worth the hype. I can see why this was so hyped. I can totally see that. Um, but I have my reservations for a lot of things, especially if you have read this. Then the gun scene. Yeah, um, that's all I'm gonna say about this. Another one is Book Lover by Emily Henry, and this was definitely worth the hype. Even though I could not relate to the characters much, and there was not much depth to both the main characters, but still, this was very good, very brilliant and connectable read. You could totally relate to the situation here and the plot twist and all of those things. I think this was a good, this is a good summer spring read to be honest and yeah this was worth the hype. This was my first book from Emily Henry and it's making me want to read more of her. So yeah, definitely worth the hype. King of Wrath by Anna Huang, another Anna Huang book. And as much as I would like to think that this was, I mean there was nothing new to be honest. Huang has this specific storyline that she follows with every book. You do not get much, nothing new about it, except the trope change. So this one was marriage of convenience, uh, arranged marriage trope, and 
this is one of my favorite tropes but i think a better book for that trope was mariana zapata's uh a wall of the wall of winnipeg and me uh, this was not that good but it was an okay read kind of good if you are in a reading slump and want to give it a try this will take you out of a reading slump and i think that's the beauty of anna wang's writing it's not it doesn't give much substance but it definitely gets you out of your rut so yeah the love hypothesis by ollie hazelwood this was my first book from ollie hazelwood and this was definitely great a great great read and very delightful and i love the trope in this one this was that he falls first and harder trope and she was oblivious obviously fake dating and all of that so this was great read also it was quite fast paced and a lot of you know genius here and there dropping of things so yeah i like this i like this book definitely worth the hype i am absolutely mad at myself for not reading this book sooner and i wouldn't have read this still but i was told that the series is going to be out sometime in uh, during the time of july or something and i wanted to get it over with but this this a good girl's guide to murder holly jackson totally worth the hype i can see why the instagram is going all gaga over it so yeah give this one a try it is very clean book so if you're not someone who like this smart you will definitely love this there is mystery and the good thing about this is you will not be able to realize who the who the culprit is till the end uh, so yeah this is a good good book and i'm so excited to see how the series turn out to be because the casting is brilliant they have not screwed it up like colin hoover's um, that it ends with us they have not screwed it up this is brilliantly casted and yeah you would want to read this before the series is out so give this one a try the final book is the deal i recently read this one this is by l kennedy and yes this was worth the hype although there are a lot of problematic things that i could not wrap my head around but i could see why this was hyped this is a sport romance hockey to be specific and college romance and that fake dating trope and all of the, those things which we like but um yeah i mean uh, there are trigger there should be trigger warnings in this one because uh, there was a tragic accident involved and i don't want to give this spoilers and i'm not going to so you don't have to cover your ears but yeah um let's just say the way they dealt with that trauma was um not something i was hoping this was i can see why this book was hyped that's about it and this was a good read a quick read short chapters good writing but yeah some some of the things were problematic in this one too so give this one a try if you want so yes guys these are all the books that i have had for you and yeah i'll see you in the next one bye